Hello guys, Tokusa here, and welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. So, I've already showcased Celebrations with Chaco and Celebrations Deku uh, by themselves, so today, we're gonna throw both of them together. Uh, these two were clearly designed to work together, Deku being the main support with his healing, his status ailments, and tons of power. And then you have Ochako, of course, who's the main damage dealer while she's doing stuns. And both of the attacks, or two of the three attacks, are AoEs, by the way, which is just phenomenal. Of course, she's raising crit rate, increases speed for allies, takes away two of the temporary buffs from the opponents. Uh, the two just work really well together, and I'm very excited to show you how well they can take out anything in the game. So the team I am running right here, the main three, uh, you're going to see Seji is a staple for a lot of my uh, showcases, which I'll explain shortly. RG's these three though, Sue and Deku on the bench, Vigilante Deku, just in case, you know, one of them for some reason gets taken out. Uh, I don't really see that happening though. The, uh, these three I've tested out work very well together. Uh, Deku is running with these feelings. Uh, it's a great memory just for survivability. HP regen. Every time you regenerate some health, you increase your defense. And it lowers action skill cooldown time by two. So I'm popping my healing ability more, and I'm popping my AoE crit lowering attack. And Deku actually does do a pretty good amount of damage once he's built up, so great, great memory. I think it works wonderful on him. Uh, Ochako, of course, is running the brand new memory, as you can see, which is great, it's great universal memory. It supports the whole team and provides a ton of damage output. Crit or uh, skill impact up, crit rate up by 15% for three turns if used as a third user in the skill chain, and successfully done, of course, along with crit skill impact. So the whole team's getting some crit rate from it and crit skill impact, which is obviously phenomenal. And the character holding it, which is Ochako, is just getting skill impact damage up, which is just amplifying that even higher. And Seji, of course, uh, if you're not aware of what he is, he's Meat Lump Man, but he also provides some support to the team. He's just always been like a good disrupting supportive unit to me, who honestly can do some decent damage, especially with this new UR memory that just came out. Uh, of course, Meat Lump, when enemies hit me, when I use Body Metamorphosis, he can turn him into meat for two turns. His AoE does it for one turn. Everybody gets turned into Meat Lump. And yeah, he just fits really well. He's a good disrupting unit. And in case you guys haven't seen what this memory is, because I don't think I've talked about it in other showcases, SR memory that gr gives damage reduction of 25% when you're above 50% health. Obviously amazing. And once you drop below, you heal 15% of health for two turns. Uh, doesn't seem like too much, but when you put that beside Celebrations Deku, who's healing you all the time with the memory I have on him, uh, non-stop healing. Seji's just always back up there. It's probably so annoying to fight him, and I love him for that reason. And yeah, he just immobilizes the team while supporting the team. And it also lowers the chance of getting paralyzed or stunned. So, if I'm fighting any other Ochakos out there that are trying to stun me, less chance of him doing it, or her doing it. I apologize. And Kaminari for just stunning off the top of my head. Or paralyzing. So, great memory. It just protects me well. Uh, anyways, that's enough talk. I want to get into showcasing. Uh, I'm not only going to do PvP and PvE this time. I'm oh, sorry, I am going to do PvE. Uh, just VE Tower. I want to show them in an array of areas, just because not only people don't only just play for PvP and VE Tower, you know. Like when I first started to do more, uh, or when I fully invested in uh, Vigilante Deku here, I couldn't do a lot of the story missions and whatnot. I was just struggling to get three stars. So in case you're in that sort of scenario, I want to show you how well these these characters can do in the harder ends of uh, you know, the main story event. I can check out the ultra difficult event in the new event out right now that is related to the celebrations and to show you how well they can do in everything. So enough talking, let's jump into the showcases. So, the first place I am showing him off is the final story mission currently available, which is, I believe, 13, 9 or 10? Hard mode, redestro. Uh, this, so, this is the hardest story event you could possibly do. So, and I will show you how well this team actually works. So, no idea why I'm healing. So, it depends really how fast the opponent is. Nice 20 carry right off the bat, carry right up. Tons of 9Ks there. And already stunned, not able to do anything for a full turn. But when I'm using Deku, I always get him to attack first. Oh, well, don't do what I do. And look, <laughs> me loving that giant is still very weird. Uh, 
when I'm attacking with Deku, though, it depends if I'm going first or second, if I'm using the heal or not. Uh, a lot of the opponents that I fight now attack first, so I like to use my auto skill that gives me all the healing and status ailments, because, you know, it negates all the damage that they just did, of course. And if, obviously, if I'm attacking first, I will go with the AoE uh, attack, which lowers crit rate. Anyways, 3 plus ultras, Ochakos, I love it, pretty great. 50k and a stun, that opponent's doing nothing. Deku with the, the groundhouse kick for 60k, by the way. Supporting unit, dropping 60k worth of damage. And Seji throwing in 60k. Just like that, this opponent hasn't even touched me. I am full health here. As you can see, I have 249k left on the enemy without feeling a scratch. So... I mean, you see Seji's turning him into me here, but, like, Ochako had him stunned for two turns, so it didn't even matter. Um, I'm just gonna do the heal. I kinda wanna do another full three, three chain here with all attacks, because, you know, it looks a little bit better. Ooh, a little late to go, uh, evil mode there, buddy. So, this is the mode. Lower any crit rate if this opponent has it. Increase crit rate. And Ochako now dropping 11k's each. And stunned. Redestro is doing absolutely nothing. Uh, so I'm going to do another 3 chain again here. Just to, just because I can. Not sure. I haven't done this fight in a little bit. I can't remember if Redestro... 60k by Ochako, by the way. Can do any sort of stunning or... Oh my goodness. I didn't realize Hawks going to wipe him out there. But yeah. As you can see there. Phenomenal. Works fun. Just the synergy between the two is just great. You're going to be protected, Ochako's going to constantly stun, and if you could fill in a third slot with someone like Seji, or just any sort of disrupting unit like Ida, uh, Fantasy Karashima, like covering and dodging, the value is just through the roof. You're going to be set for the entire game. So, we have hopped into 12-12 in hard mode difficulty against Midori, Ochako, and Ashido, or Mina. Uh, the main reason I wanted to do this is because it's not just picking on one guy, you know, bullying the crap out of Redestro there. This is an array of opponents, so a little bit more diversity, a little bit more challenging, I find, when there's obviously more opponents. But as you'll see here, it shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. Lower any chance of doing crit rate. Seji, oh, back at it again. I had one successful video where he hit all my chains, and now we're back to just messing him all again. So we didn't get the support from Ochako's memory, so... Hopefully we can get it here. Lovely, and there we go. Nice little heal. And as you can see, everybody's already starting to do their crit rates. Perfect. We can see both of the plus ultras. Uh, if you can make your Deku go first, obviously that's great. Because his plus ultra here actually increases power of all allies by 20% for three turns. So... It gives your other, you know, your other teammates here, like I'll on Seji, for instance, a bit more damage. But in most instances, my Deku is not going to be the faster unit. So we get to see all that in the, you know, following attacks that happen. So once again, this is an AOE stun that's going to happen from El Chaco. Oh, uh, must have been some nullifying going on. <laughs> I haven't done this in a minute. So I don't remember. But didn't miss Deku's, so. All that's left now is Midoriya. Uh, let's do a nice heal here. So unfortunately, we didn't get to see the stun, but... Yeah, see? Any damage that Ochako takes, instantly healed up from Deku there. It's just... It's ridiculous you can do what you can do. I'm not going to use Seji here. Obviously, if I was doing this properly, I would use Seji. But uh, I just want to showcase the two new units, of course. But I will do this, of course, because this is a supporting, as you can see, 20% crit rate. Oh my goodness, if I can ever do chains, that is. 34k, very nice. Uh, hopefully my hit three turns, the support is still up, so I'm not missing that. And now we can see the plus ultra from Ochako land properly. Uh, the more and more I see this plus ultra, the more I start to like it. 38k, no stun though. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it just flows real well with Chakos, and I'm quite happy with it, actually. Oh, and an animation I actually haven't talked about. Oh, there's Seji being Seji. I'm actually slowed down for this. <laughs> I mean, not for the chain. I, well, I do need it, honestly. Just kidding. Didn't matter, I messed it anyways. But what I want to show here is their win screen. 
Deku's doing his little backflip, and Ochako does the spin with the P symbol. It's honestly the best part of their animations. I actually adore that. I think that is great. I think they should implement more, like, fancy, unique windscreens. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little thing. But as you can see there, no problem whatsoever. And that's me being, you know, struggling to hit my chains and still clearing this no problem. So, if you pull these units, you should have no problem clearing any of the story missions whatsoever. Alright, so we are in VE Tower now. The final stage, SS difficulty of critical, a critical stage, against Sugar Rocky and All for One. Uh, I believe Deku's boosted and has type advantage, so you'll probably see a little bit more damage output out of him. But type move for Ochako, you should see the stun here activated quite a bit. And you can see here the technical points and crit that they can accumulate to get a great score in this event. As long as I can get my chain, which has been a trouble today. Alright, good start, good start. So, uh, getting all three chains there, Ochako's active skill, or memory, is now active. So the whole team's getting crit rate of 15% and critical skill impact of 15%, which is, of course, phenomenal. And yeah, it should just all go smooth from here, unless you're me and miss all your chains. So, <laughs> whatever score you see here, just know you can do better. You could definitely do better as long as you don't miss everything. But uh, I don't know why or how I do it. I just do it. So, yep. Nothing can really affect Deku because of all the status ailments going on. 70k to all for one and 50k to Sugar Rocky and stunned now for two turns. Nothing he can do about it. Deku, of course, just <laughs> supported through the roof here, hitting 999. Uh, I might actually be doing too much damage to get a really good score here, so I'm not even too mad that it was just normal attack, so we can do an extra turn, and I'm honestly a little worried we're just going to kill, so we're going to do Seji first in this chain, that it, which I wouldn't usually do, but this way I'm able to get another full 3 chain, Deku hitting 9999, max damage. Uh, just take in mind, VE Tower versus PvP, if you do play PvP. A lot more things come into play. Memories, uh, just the way characters are built around, their supporting units. You're not going to see the numbers that you see in this event in PvP. It's just not the way it is. So just keep that in mind when you see not Deku doing ridiculous damage. But yeah, as you can see here, we got the max crits. Our technical hits were could have been better if I did my chains properly and activated the memory. Of course, right? My skill change was low if I just done it properly. And... Yeah, still 3,800. Still no joke. You may not win it, but you can definitely do better than what you see here and place higher and higher on the E-Tower. Uh, they do great. They give you all the points you need and everything. Great in this event as well. And finally, we are now in PvP. So I am fighting a full fantasy team outside of, like, Ida. I feel like Ida, Karishima, Ochako, Su, those are the main four you see all the time. So no Su or Ida, but still... No team to be messed with, right? Ochako, Jiro, and Karashima is very popular with Fantasy Bakugo and Deku in the back. Uh, battle power, I'm a little bit outmatched here by about 40, 44,000, but I'm not too worried at all. I think this team will hold up its own. And yeah, let's hop right in. Uh, definitely the biggest problem here is going to be Karashima, because if I had to be nitpicky and find one problem, it would definitely be that none of the, or none of the two celebration units have piercing shock. So it might take a little bit longer to get through it all. And see, since we're faster, I'm going to do this. So I lower the crit rate off the bat. And yeah, I think this fight's going to come down to if I can do my skill chains. And I uh, guess we'll find out now. Not going to lie, I was a little bit nervous there. Uh, you might be wondering why I did not stun off turn one. Well, Jiro kind of does what my Deku does. So for one turn, I am... Uh, she has status ailments for the whole team, so she is not. we're not able to stun her at all, or the whole team. Not a problem. It's only for one turn, while Deku can pop it all the time when he does this attack, or this, this skill here, adaptability. Good. Any meat lumps? We got one meat lump activated, and 9k crit. Karashima is going to be a very difficult wall to get through, of course, because... Of everything that he's just doing, right? Just damage reduction, defense. Plus, archering Ochako, which is unfortunate. Oh, she's already pretty low health. 
But look at that. Great heal right there from Deku coming in. So, pretty happy. So, hmm. He's going to get this attack in first, which shouldn't be too big of a problem, honestly. I'm not too worried. But more cover. Uh, but, if you'll see here, Ochako has been stunned for two turns. Now, she did see on 36k, so it looks like we did no damage, but... 4k there, and... Denki doing 3k. So the thing I'm starting to notice here is, uh... This is a pretty hard team to get through. It's gonna be quite difficult, just because Karishima just has constant damage reduction. I'm just gonna turn the plus ultras off for now, because you've already seen it. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a mission for sure, but... Not too worried. Might take 35 turns, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, we might lose Ochako here. Okay, maybe not, because I know we attack first. As long as everything goes well here. Knocked out Jiro, which is huge. And Ochako is stunned for this turn, so she's doing nothing. Can you hold on, Ochako? Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I do think we are going to lose our girl here. I don't think I'll be able to do that plus ultra, even though I would love to, of course, but uh, we will see. We will see. Get me lump. Oh, that's two units down. And he can... oh, you know what? Never mind. Maybe we will see the plus ultra one more time. That was a great rotation right there. As you saw, everybody was taken out. Stun kicked in as well. Oh, uh, he got on the Where's the plus ultra? Uh, just an array of damage. It builds up over time because of Deku's support ability. Obviously, Ochako has the new memory, so all the crit rates and crit skill impacts is still being applied. Deji support. Uh, it's phenomenal. It's a phenomenal how well these units work together. And yeah, we get to see all their plus ultras again, which is great. No! <laughs> Except for Ochako's. You got one bomb. That's okay. She did, she did her role. All those AoEs played a role, and look at that. Izuku Midoriya, PvP, 96k, plus ultra. Supporting unit? You mean the bloody best damage dealer you've ever seen too? Man, almost got a perfect win there. Uh, but yeah, those two together can work with anybody. I could have used two over Seji, and I probably would have worked a bit better. And I could have used Ida, Kirishima if I had them. Like, anybody else can fill that third slot as well, as, as long as it like synergizes. I like to support them a little bit more, that's why I use Seji, but yeah, fantastic. They just work so well together, and you can't go wrong with them. So there you guys have it, the showcases for both Deku and Ochako on the same team. As you saw throughout this whole video, they just clear everything with great synergy and have no struggles whatsoever. Uh, the two harder story quests I did, which Redestral, the final one, single target, and 12-12 against UA1 there. I had no problems whatsoever. Just clearing that with ease. VE Tower, we scored pretty dang high in SS difficulty, by the way, of the third event of Critical Stage. Uh, you can see me miss a tons of skill chains there, by the way, and still got 3,800 VE points. And you could use somebody better too than Seji to even increase that. As long as you also hit your skill chains, you're going to do more than fine in there. And then you saw in PvP, Full fantasy team, which has been meta forever. Me bringing in the two new anniversary units and an SR unit, and had no problems whatsoever there. Uh, so yeah, this these two can just be used anywhere throughout the entire game. It is fantastic. They are great pickups. I hope you guys or I hope you guys both get them, guys and girls both get them, and take full advantage of them. Level them up. You will not regret it. They can be used in everything. And yeah. Like and subscribe would be wonderful. Leave a comment down below if you want to see a different sort of showcase or certain events be implemented. Uh, maybe Climax Battle wants out. Or, you know, unique units. Anything. Anything that you guys want to see, you let me know. Also, I want to say that I'm in a guild. Uh, pretty new to it. <laughs> uh, literally just two of us. Me and my brother. Uh, so, of course, we're looking for tons of, tons of people to join. We want to be able to participate in this new guild event coming up. And, you know get all the rewards that come with it, and we can talk, chat, hang out a little bit, get to know me a little bit more outside of just these videos. Uh, it could be a lot of fun. Uh, just once again, thanks a lot for tuning in. It means the world to me. 
every view counts and tons of more improvements and videos to come. So until then, thanks for watching and Tokusa out.